and approaching the ring, accompanied by Paul Heyman from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Pounds, Brock Lesnar. Must have seen it coming. Yeah, you got to be smarter than that. Wearing down the opposition here. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. What a kick by Randy Orton. Well, we're on the move here. You could call this a good old-fashioned butt whooping. Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing, a butt whooping. neck from that German suplex. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed. That arm is now in an extremely compromising position. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one painful move to another. I never saw this coming. What should we expect from the Viper here tonight, King? Well, Randy Orton has a tendency to control the tempo of the match. You gotta look for him to slowly wear his opponent down before striking quickly with the RKO. He's absolutely relentless here. Well, on the topic of Randy Orton here, tell us your thoughts. As far as signature finishing moves go in the WWE, Randy Orton's RKO gets a lot of attention, and rightfully so. But his running punt kick to an opponent's head deserves its share of attention, too, because that move is every bit as brutal and bone-crunching as the RKO. Well, luckily, the body hasn't absorbed too much of an attack up to this point. Oh, wow. There's no need for this. The Apex Predator might be fading here. Well, King, you definitely have a point there. Of course I do. The RKO might be the better known of Orton's finishers, but the Apex Predator's punt kick has ended plenty of matches by itself. Right. I know we've both seen him use it countless times, and it's rare an opponent can recover from it. Randy's running punt kick is just devastating. Right, it's a finisher that's not used to just take you down. It's used to take you out. I mean, the Viper is looking to do a massive amount of damage when he plants that kick to the side of your head. And that's usually exactly what happens. Again. Good. Keep it in the ring, guys. Oh, I think this man means business. Nice escape by Lesnar. And it's moves like that that made Lesnar the one in 21 and 1. Cole, what's he got in mind? Ow! Ooh. You know, it's important to remember Randy Orton earned his nickname, the Legend Killer, early in his WWE career for what was a fantastic run of pay-per-view appearances right from the very beginning. I mean, Randy was never intimidated, no matter how big the stage was. Boy, old Snake Eyes is enjoying this. Oh, what offense! What a display of power that was! We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. It only takes a couple of those to bring his night to an end. 
King, you brought up Randy Orton's remarkable pay-per-view record when the Viper was still wet behind the ears. In his first 13 pay-per-views in WWE, Randy won nine events. That's not an easy task for even the most experienced performer. Never mind a newbie like Orton was at the time. Inside the ring now. Finally, let's get this done inside the ring. Now back to the ring. Oh, looking to make a statement here. That's got to be it, Randy Orton. How about that finishing move? You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Watch it, watch it, no way. What a move from Randy Orton. That's how you impress the WWE Universe, folks. Getting taken back. Good job getting to the ropes there. And he kicks out. And he lives to fight again. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. Oh, he looks like he's in no man's land here. He needs to be able to put things back together here. Michael, this is a dangerous position to be in. He needs to be able to find a way to clear the cobwebs and regroup. Oh, man, does he have that arm submission in tight? And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. I guess he's done with that move. Yeah, but what's he... There's the cover. Can he do it? I think he's got it. No love loss between these two. Randy Orton showing signs of life. and he eats the canvas. All oh, the Vipers locked in. Randy's hearing the voices in his head. This is how he gets that focus, that strength. The Viper can dial up that intensity whenever he chooses. Not this. He's looking at it again. It's just a matter of time now. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Here we go. Astonishing maneuver by Randy Orton. Wow, what a reversal by Lesnar. Yeah, I know they call him the Beast, but that was just beautiful. Triple German suplex Lesnar. Here is about done. You're right. Brock Lesnar is a beast. We now have to question if he'll be able to come back after that.